What's going on guys? It's Will here from TechingConsumer.com and today I'll be showing you guys how I'm protecting my iPhone in terms of screen protector and case. So let's get started. On the top here of course we have the screen protector and it does not cover the front facing camera nor does it cover the proximity sensor or the bottom part of the home button right there but it is anti-glare matte and it's pretty awesome. The little bit of air bubble that you see around the edges is caused by the uh, TPU case, which I don't really like at all, but it's what I have for right now. Starting off with the case on the left-hand side, we have a full cutout for everything on the left-hand side, including the vibrate switch and volume buttons. On the bottom here, we have a full cutout for the speakers, microphone, lightning connector, and headphone jack. On the side here, there is no cutout. And on the back here, we have a full cutout for the camera, LED flash, and microphone. And on the top, the sleep like button is actually covered. And it is actually very easy to press. So, overall, I like the screen protector that I got. It's a really nice screen protector. If I do get another case on here, which I hopefully will soon, um, maybe a silicone one or something like that. Um, in terms of the case, I don't like it at all, really. It works and it protects, but I don't like the way that the volume buttons are kind of down in there and the sleep like button. After a while, the TPU kind of molds to this so it's easier to hit the sleep wake button but if you're using this case for a couple days it'll get really irritating to hit the sleep wake button but after a while it eventually molds into place anyways guys considering i got these things off of ebay i'll simply tell you this that the case is an all black tpu case and the screen protectors are anti-glare and matte so with that criteria in mind, you can easily go onto eBay and search for iPhone 5 matte screen protector and iPhone 5 black TPU case. You should be able to find almost exactly what I have, if not with a little variation. Anyways guys, that's about it for this video. Um, just showing you guys how to protect your iPhone on the cheap. I don't recommend it. I recommend getting something, just not something this cheap. It's good for when you're just starting to get your brand new device and there's nothing really out yet, but I am very much looking forward to getting some cases in for review and or buying a few cases uh, for my iPhone. Anyways guys, that's about it for this video. If you guys would like to see more of my iPhone 5 content, be sure to subscribe so you're notified as to when I post new iPhone 5 videos or just tech videos in general. And anyways, guys, that's it for this video, and I'll see you guys in my next one.